The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. Welcome to Raw and Boomer Sooner, everybody. This is Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler, and I couldn't be happier about coming home to Oklahoma City tonight. These Oklahoma fans are fired up and ready for the greatest superstars uh. in sports entertainment. And they should be. I've seen the lineup for tonight's show, and I honestly don't think it could be any better. Uh. These fans love confidence in their superstar, and that's just what they're seeing from him here tonight. Well, he can do this until the cows come home, but that's not going to win him the match. What a counter! A textbook reversal there. Look at Shawn Michaels. The future Hall of Famer has overcome so much adversity in his career. But the Heartbreak Kid's got more heart than anyone I've ever seen in this business. You know, JR, HBK might be a living legend and all, but I wish he'd just keep his mouth shut. Oh boy, this looks like an all or nothing move. Look at this! Look at this! You talk and oh, there's the cover! Uh oh! Come on! You gotta stop this guy! I don't think he's climbing up there for the view! 
Oh, no. I don't like the looks of this. He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent had better watch out. <laughs> I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff, but. I don't think I want him. He's tuning up the choir. I think we all know what's next. Switch that music. He just laid his opponent out cold. I don't know if his opponent has what it takes to kick out. Randy Orton is a genius, JR. As soon as he got what he needed from Triple H and Ric Flair, he turned on him and struck out on his own. I think you've got a selective memory there, Kingfish. I seem to remember Triple H and Ric Flair turning on Orton and knocking some of the cockiness out of him when they did it. Well, if that's true, it's just a matter of jealousy. And I think that's pretty sad, coming from two men who have more than 25 world title reigns between them. The game and Flair are no strangers to championship gold, but Orton won it younger than either one of them. And I think he didn't let it go straight to his head either. You always see the worst in people, JR. Why shouldn't Orton be proud of being the youngest world champion in WWE history? Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their minds. You sure can't, JR. And I don't think we'd have it any other way. All right. Can you believe we actually get paid to do this job, JR? It's like a dream come true, King. I don't believe it. We might see a superstar get beat for their own finishing move here. Three. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start uh, on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce of quit between them. Yeah, and that's where things get dangerous. If you're too proud to admit that it's not your night, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. But at the same time, King, no one makes it up the ladder without pushing themselves to the... And now, Pin! This could one, be it! Two. These superstars are beating the heck out of each other, and this crowd can't get enough of it. It's what they paid to see, King, and they're getting their money's worth tonight. They sure are. Oh, boy. The adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No. He might be thinking of one of his favorite tunes. No. Sweet chin music. I don't believe it. I think we're going to find out just how flat on your back with your shoulders on the mat is no place to be. You can look at... Here's your winner. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels.